it's Barry. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I've got some sneaks for you from the March Cloth and Paper subscription box. Of course, I'll throw in a hack or two, and we're still running the February giveaway. So let's dig in. The March box is called Connect and Cultivate, and the idea is fostering moments of connection. In addition to the wonderful Bits and Bobs bag that we've all seen on Instagram, there's lots of other things, and I want to show you a few of them today. So first up, we've got the Connect and Cultivate inserts. And I'm showing these to you in a CP Petite, but you'll receive them in whatever size you sign up for. And if you haven't signed up for the March subscription box yet, you still have a few days left but be careful because both the January and February subscription boxes sold out, so don't delay. Of course, you can use my discount code to sign up if you are a new subscriber. If you want to use my discount code, it's always below in the video descriptions and also updated on my Instagram. We have the Connect and Cultivate inserts, and there are several inserts within this package. The first one is Teamwork Planning. So here you could take your teammate and have information about them. If you're working with a lot of different people, and this could also be used for clients, I was thinking this could be helpful for that. You have contact information and their name, some favorites about them, and mutual projects that you've worked on, any collaboration ideas. But I would also like to use this to make notes about that person and some of their interests and what we have in common. And next, we have a pen pal tracker. So if you still have a pen pal, you can use this to record their information and then when letters are received back and forth. And my question for you is, do you have a planner pen pal? Because that can be fun, especially if you're sending each other happy mail. The Meaningful Moments insert is wonderful, especially if you do memory planning. And then there's the Family Tree insert. And if you enjoy genealogy, this will be great for you to keep track of your family. And the nice thing is at the back of your inserts package, there are some pages that are filled in to give you some ideas on how to use the inserts as you move forward with them. So next up, we have the mini oblong sticky notes. And for March, these are in the color Tuscany. And the sticky notes come two to a package, but they're different. One is transparent and one is matte. Of course, you're gonna to wanna to use a uni pin pen or another oil-based ink for writing on anything transparent from cloth and paper. And this is to prevent smearing. And here's how they would look on a page. Next up are the photo corners, and I've really enjoyed testing these out. You'll get two pages of the clear ones, one page of the Tuscany, and one page of avant-garde. You don't need to use all four corners. You can just use two, either this way or this way. You can obviously use these for photographs. Here I'm using them just to have what my contact cards have been. And of course you can use them for journal cards. And this month we do have a layering card set and this little tiny card was in there. And then a wonderful one which says there is no right time. Since this is a similar size to the what's inside cards, I decided to punch it for my CP Petite. So I decided I wanted to keep a good record of my what's inside cards. So I decided to create a little book in the CP Petite size. And I did show the start of this before, but I did have to update things just a little bit. So what I did was I had a set of the black blank dividers from cloth and paper, and I wasn't using them anymore. So I just cut two covers, front and back cover, out of the divider. And then I used 1.25 inch discs. You'll only need to use six of them, but if you buy two packs of these, you'll have enough for three CP notebooks. I then put a vinyl on the front, 
And in my last video, I did show you some more detail about how to use vinyls. If you need to go back and refer to that, I'll link it right here. So then all I did was punch, and I punch on the What's Inside card, the front of it, and then, of course, I've got the detail pictures on the back to refer to. And I keep my most recent member access card. You don't really need to save all of them because the password that's on the back to get into the subscriber exclusives is only good for the one month. I discard that when I get the new one. And this is pretty chunky. I've been involved for a while and the What's Inside cards didn't start right at the beginning, but I'm back to June of 2020 in here. And originally the cards were the CP Petite size and then they slimmed down a little bit, but both punch and work really well. You may wonder why I do this. It's not just to record history. I actually have a method to my madness. So sometimes I'm using a product that came in a subscription box and I run out and I realize I really need more. Well, what I might like to do is go on the Buy, Sell, Trade Facebook group and put an in search of post and try to get whatever it is I need that I ran out of. And I could just take a picture and ask for it. But if I say it was in the July 2021 sub box, then people who know that they went that, that far back might read that post and be able to actually help me, especially if they store their extras by month. And I have referred to this quite a bit, but it is a great piece of history. And I love to look back on the different things and when we got them. The original cards did not have pictures. They were just two-sided what was inside. And because this is an attractive little book, I'm excited when I do get my new cards to punch and that way I don't lose any of them. Because before, if I was looking for something, I'd have to look multiple places and this is just organized and functional. I did wanna mention that these photo corners appear to be somewhat reusable. I tried a couple where I reused them four and five times, even coming off of paper, not cardstock, but like just a regular piece of paper, and they seem to work quite well. So a reminder about the February giveaway. It's a Louis Vuitton February giveaway. No, not a bag, not a planner, nothing big like that. But there is something officially from Louis Vuitton and something Louis Vuitton inspired. To enter, like the video, subscribe to the channel so that you can get notified for more, and leave a comment below. You must be subscribed to the email list to win. If you haven't subscribed already, there's always a link in the description box below each video and also on my Instagram. Just be sure to confirm when you get an email back. You can enter once on every February video. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time around.